People of questionable characters have joined Yoruba movie industry. This is coming from Jaye Kuti. Speaking in an interview with Saturday Beat, she said, and I quote, it is totally unacceptable to say that actresses don't have morals. We have people that are of good moral standing. However, a lot of people that came from nowhere all in the name of wanting to be actresses are now there. So doves have been mixed with chickens. Some of these people were not even part of us originally. I crossed over from English movies to acting in Yoruba films, yet I still had to go and meet the elders to formally tell them that I wanted to be part of them. I did that so anybody wouldn't ask me where I was coming from. It's just unfortunate that some people with questionable characters have joined the industry and we don't know where they come from. But when such people start to misbehave, behave, the public categorizes everybody as one, but we are not, end of words. I feel where she's coming from. Um, at the end of the day, I think it's, it's two sides of the same coin. There are people who believe in going through the process to get to where they want to get to in their chosen field or career, and that's some people feel, you know, there's a shortcut to it, and either way, you get a paid price. And it feels, it feels bad knowing that, you know, you've, you've committed so much of your time and years into your craft to make sure you make something out of it and give some dignity to the craft. Then they just people just you know they can sleep their way through to the top, and at the end of the day, everybody is categorized as same. I remember a certain OAP coming out sometime last year to say something about all OAPs, um, something about all OAPs sleeping around or something. I can't I can't remember a particular words right now. We did talk about it on the table here. You know, he, it makes it makes a mess of your effort because not everybody sleeps around to get to where they want to get to, what they want to achieve, and so she coming out to say this at the end of the day. Um, he who wears a shoe know where exactly it pinches, you know. And at the end of the day, there will always be those people in, in society, those who believe, you know what, I got to do it right to get to where I want to get to. And those who believe, you know what, <laughs> um, you know if I have to, I don't agree. If, For if me, I have to, okay, if, I have to mm -hmm. if I have to do some certain things mm -hmm. which is considered immorally Illegal. wrong, mm -hmm. I would do it to also get to where I want to get to. And that seems to characterize the entertainment industry. We can't mm -hmm. even deny that. Okay, you know. she wasn't talking <laughs> about, <laughs> from my understanding, she yeah. wasn't talking about processes. Um, if I... No, not processes. People who are the enemy, they just, they just come from nowhere and, and they give the, the industry a bad name. And definitely she was talking about immoral behavior. You make it sound like this industry is like, a, is like a building and then there's the principal and head of staff. Like the industry is massive. Which elders? Did she go to every single elder in the industry? No, that, that and, elder part, and I, I would don't, like I don't to understand know, I would like to know yeah. also when these people started coming to the industry so we can begin to understand who the people she's talking about are. And, and I don't think right? because I'm in an industry, an I must... No, let's have your confession, okay, please. Uh, confession. No, I say, is that a confession? When you said uh, you would do anything that, whatever. Um, <laughs> no, no, that's not necessary. Okay, no. so my, my <laughs> issue with this is one, yeah. just because I'm in an industry doesn't mean you control my moral compass. I can be sleeping around as a doctor, as a lawyer, as a pilot, as a banker, in whatever industry it is. So I don't understand why sleeping with people has anything to do with my industry, except you're saying, no, saying hey, let me finish. Of the except you're saying that you're they you're sleeping. What is and that, what's the behavior? Is not even no, told us what the behavior is. What it's, is the behavior? It's, it's not easy to. It's not so difficult and who, to read between and just, the lines. Who doesn't who, who doesn't get categorized? I think, I think it's, the a, only it's a flimsy thing, to me. This this topic is very trivial yeah. and very flimsy. Who's who's categorizing you? And what are, who isn't categorized in some way? The fact that you look like that, somebody has categorized you into oh, yeah. something. We, we all get so everybody gets. So what is special about this? And then you're not saying that you have given it. You have given yourself the job to go and start fishing them out. Like, I don't understand. Am I your... Is this a church? Like, uh, who is keeping up with this so moral standard? You're saying, you know, there's really nothing wrong with people, whatever, whatever with this. If you want to personally... Like, why not? Don't talk around, about... Sleep your no, you don't need that's fine. I mean. Wait, was she talking about sleeping around? What was exactly if, she referring to? Forget the elders she was making. For me, if, if I'm going so to talk about... If I want to understand... Hold name. on. If I want to understand where she's coming from, from my own perspective, I would say most of the Yoruba... Nollywood actresses, please don't come for me. They can be very loud mouthed. Lousy. Lousy. But what is my business with what anybody's doing with their private parts? That is not what characterizes the yeah, industry. Yes, because your private part is making them give them a general name she doesn't she doesn't What buy is the general well, yeah, name? What is it? You know, what is it? The and so because they give industry. you a, a stereotypical general name, you're going to stress yourself and take the elders with you to fish people out. Mm. I don't even know of all the things to be doing so. in the industry, so you're going to fish people out based on their talking, moral. She wasn't saying that if you want to go into the industry, you should have some level of training mm. or certification. Or she said you must know the goons. You must know the OGs. You must be friends with the elders. You are coming from. Where are you coming from? 
maybe that was what she was trying to say, but for lack of better uh, on this word, oh, and okay. she couldn't just say it right. right. But I'm saying at the end of the day, I feel the people at the end of the day who are paying their dues, who have, who have put so much into the craft. Yeah, which is should, what I'm saying. You are talking about processes, but yes, that didn't sound like what you're talking about. And their due prompt, And even if that is the case, yeah. what about some... So who, who, how does that affect you? You're doing your thing, you're whatever, you're, you're doing the work, and I'm not, and I'm sleeping around. How does that affect you? There are people who just always have... An opinion about yeah, that. Yeah, okay, you know, so that's everybody so has opinions. One, she's one of such people that, you know what, um, and I wish she had mentioned names. She had named names. To your, uh, at least be you know, specific about the behavior. Exactly, what behavior it is. Mm -hmm. So um, it, it comes up. I don't see kind of how what Jessica's, what Jessica is doing at home is affecting but at the end of the day, um, Cynthia. Like, whoever do your own to thing. Do what they want to do to get them to where they want to get to. They're still paying an ultimate price, and that is their prerogative. It shouldn't be your business. And it's not really yeah. not. But let's. <sighs> okay.